UD alum Ty Jones returned to his alma mater last month to deliver the Paul R. Jones Annual Lecture, part of a university initiative that uniquely engages students with African American art. I sat down with Jones, the producing artistic director of the Classical Theater of Harlem, to discuss his life at UD and how he's gotten to where he is today. When were you here at the university and uh, what was it like in terms of academics, your social life, um, and the kinds of things that you got involved in uh, through theater and the arts? My undergraduate years were from 88 to 92. I was a communications major. My uh, path with communications is, uh, has a lot to do with my mother. She uh, is a 22-year veteran of the United States Air Force, a uh, single mom, you know, uh, raised me by herself, and she was a journalist in the Air Force. So she oftentimes was the editor of the, the, the base newspaper. I ended up uh, wanting to go in the world of journalism, but I wanted to be in front of the camera, so I'm, I was interested in broadcast journalism. I used to, I used to live on Academy, and Hart's Horn Building is right there on the corner of Academy. Mm -hmm. I used to pass it all the time. I would always see the students, and I never knew what they were doing in that building. No one had a class in Hart's Horn, you know? Uh, I ended up going to lunch every now and again with some of the students. Uh, and they said, it's a theater program, you'll get your master's in fine arts in classical theater. Uh, and they said, I should audition, they, you know. And I was like, oh, I don't know what that is, you know, the theater thing. I, I really was quite ignorant about theater, didn't have the, much literacy in theater at all. I auditioned, and I got in. So uh, I called my mom up, and I was like, Mom, I'm getting my master's. And she was just thrilled I was getting my master's. I, I don't think she actually knew what I was getting it in, nor did I. Uh, it was a three-year program. Uh, the, the discipline um, was unlike anything uh, that I've ever been a part of, but I was used to it because of my, my mother's military background. Um, but to give you an example, you had to be in class by 7.58. The class started at 8 o'clock, but the doors were locked by 7.58. If you weren't there, a.m., yep. And we went to class until 11 at night. So we had a lunch break and a dinner break. And my first year, I actually ran my own business. I had a um, uh, an interior, exterior house painting business. Wow. So I was running that business while I was trying to go to graduate classes, and it was also six days a week. So as you can imagine, my first year, I was on probation on four classes. So. Wow. It sounds like you've had quite the journey, uh, both undergrad and graduate here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate to have uh, gone to University of Delaware. I, I learned a lot about life, particularly in my graduate program. That, that sort of shaped who I am today as a man. Can you talk about some of the experiences or uh, theater productions or maybe other people that you've met um, that kind of informed all these lessons that, you've, that you learned here at the university? Yeah, um, I think a lot of it um, I can credit to um, how the, the program, particularly my graduate program, was shaped, where uh, as an artist they want you to be um, aware of your, your physical well-being, your emotional well-being, and they want you to be curious, to have an intellectual curiosity about everything. And, and having those three sort of pillars uh, was, um, dare I say, magical. So, um, you know, if I had never ever stayed in theater, I know that I would have the tools to find success in whatever I did. And that, that I have to give credit to my graduate program. Once you left the program, what was that like for you? And where did that take you? When you go into the real world and you are choosing theater arts or acting or, you know, it's 10 times harder out there trying to get a job um, uh, or chasing a job all the time than anything that happened in an academic setting. So um, I, I could not believe when I went out to theater, even the, the high profile theaters, you know, and they would do whatever, six plays a year or something like that. We did 14 plays our final season. So to have that sort of discipline in place, to know, um, you know your fellow classmates in such a way um, that allowed you to find success with putting up 14 different plays in a final year is, is extraordinary. <laughs>